Hi, I'm Light Brown and welcome to my channel, Cooking Up a Look. This is my classic red lipstick look. And if you want to know how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Today, I want to do a classic red lip and a nude eye. So today I'm going to be working out of this palette right here, the Morphe Fierce by Nature 3503 palette. And as you can see, oops, people. some nude colors are in this palette. So I don't have to use anything but this palette today. So I'm going to work out this palette only and I'm going to use the nude color. So nude on the eye, red on the lips. So yeah, we're going to get into um, this look. So the first color I'm going into is this color right here. That's the color I'm going into. Oh, wait, I got to do something first before we get started. I always like to spray my, um, hydrate my skin with um, rose water. This makes everything goes well. Go well. Goes well. I can't talk today, but anyway, this is this is some good stuff. So I'm gonna spray my face with this rose water. That's heavenly. That is so heavenly. It smells really good. It smells like rose water. And it's by Garnier, that's skin active. So had to do that before we get started. And now I'm going into that color I showed you. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put this color in, start in the crease because I have hooded eyes. I'm gonna have to go in the crease and then go above the crease. To, so that you can see the color because once the color is on my eye and I lift my eyelid, my eyelid up, you can't see the color. So that's why I'm having to go above the crease because I have hooded eyes. And I'm gonna put this color like all over my lid because this is pretty basic. I don't want to do too much. I might do like a darker color um, as well to kind of give my eye some definition. This pretty much is the color I'm going to use, this nude. Okay, so this next color I'm going into is this color right here. I'm just going to give my eye a little definition. So, um, yeah, I'm going into that color. As you can see, I already put some here. I have a flat brush that I'm using to do this. So. It can get in there really good in the right place. Okay, so I have that color in the corner of my eye. And I'm just going to blend that out just a little bit with a blending brush. Okay, this is a wet and wild brush right here. So I'm just going to just kind of blend that out just a little bit. Okay, so the next color I'm going to go into is it's really light. I'm just going to kind of brighten up the inner corner of my eye, but this color right here. And this is a crease brush, but I'm going to use that to, it helps me get where I need to go with that. Okay, I'm going to add the lashes now. And the lashes I'm going to use 
are the IMB 3D, IMB lashes. I've already cut them to, um, to the size I need. Save me some time. And the glue I'm gonna be using is the Duo, the Duo glue. It has a wand on it, that's why I like it. So yeah, I like the one with the wand on it, but this one, I've never seen a wand like this one. That's not even a brush. I wonder if I'm supposed to take something off when I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> this is not, it doesn't look like the, I see a brush inside, but why would they, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna make it work. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that off or what. Why would they put that on there? Okay, so I'm gonna let this get tacky. I'm gonna put this on. A mirror. Okay, so now I have my lashes on and the next thing we're gonna do is prime the face. I'm gonna put a moisturizer on first. I'm using Neutrogena um, Naturals Multivitamin um, Moisturizer. Don't need a whole lot of this. this. This stuff is, goes a long way. You don't need a whole lot. Something, just a little pea size of this stuff is good. This, it is definitely moisturizing. Now we're gonna get into the primer. Where are my primers? Here they are. Okay, so we'll be using the MAC. Um, refined zone treatment just to go up in the T zone area and the uh, professional benefit professional. So I'm gonna put these on. So I'm just like taking the foundation brush and just um, pushing in the product, I'm not dragging it or anything, just pushing it in. Now, I'm not going to take it too much down my neck because this foundation matches my skin tone perfectly. So, I haven't been in the sun that much this year. Okay, now we're going to conceal. I'm going to use this LA Girl. LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm almost out of this one, but I have another one, but I'm gonna get as much as I can out of this one. So I'm gonna apply it. I'm gonna apply it under my eye, just like so. I don't wanna use too much of it. Okay, so I had to wet my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this out. Okay, I'm gonna go into that same color that I had that I used the first the first shade that I went into with the uh what is it? Eyeshadow. Yeah, you could sure forget things. When you're on video. But yeah, I'm gonna go into that first shade. Let me see, I need to get the right brush for this. I have this pointy BH BH, BH cosmetic um brush. So I'm going back into that first shade that I went into. 
I'm gonna go right on, on my waterline with that color. Oh no, it's a little. Yeah, that's a little orange. I might darken that up a little bit. I'm using Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I love my lashes long. I love them long. So next, we're going to contour. We're going to contour. I'm going into Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the shade that I'm contouring with. So, get the brush for that. BH Cosmetic Brush. And get that in there. And I'm gonna put it up like this a little bit higher than normal light because I want everything to be my face to look lifted everything to be lifted so I'm putting just above the hollow and my cheek just like right there so when I blend it it will look, look lifted Now, I'm not going to um, go underneath here on my chin because sometimes I don't blend that out well, so I'm not even going to mess with it today. So we're just going to blend this upward to give the face a lifted look. Okay, so I blended out my contour, getting the nose, and now we're going to bake. Okay, and the powder I'm using for that is the Minted Skin Silk or Silk Skin um, powder for that to bake with. So yeah, we're baking, whipping, beating the face in the kitchen. We're cooking up a look in the kitchen. I'm gonna have to be creative with this blush thing because I broke it today. I am using an e.l.f. brush, blush, excuse me. I use the e.l.f. brush too, but I'm using an e.l.f. Blush. And I'm not going to show you what that looks like because it was bad. I busted it today, just dropped it on the floor and it was everywhere. I'm going to see if I can kind of get some of that peachy one out. It's, it has four colors in it, but I want to get that peachy one. And I'm just going to put it like right up here in this area. Okay, so now we're gonna do the highlighter. This is the uh, Anastasia Glow, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. It has four colors in it, and it's a marshmallow, gumdrop, starburst, and butterscotch. The one I'm going in today, I'm gonna to go into the marshmallow, and that's this lighter color right here. Oh, should I do gumdrop? Gumdrop. I guess I'll do Starburst. I don't know, I'm changing my mind as I go. I think I'm gonna do Starburst, which is this one right here. I'm gonna highlight my forehead because that's where I get the shine at most of the time. And um, so I won't mess with that. 
I'll just um, leave that alone. And so the next. Okay, so the lipstick I'm using is Minted Red Carpet. And this is the color. This is what it looks like. I'm going to get a lip liner. I really don't have a real, real red lip liner. I normally use brown with this. But I'm going to try this lip liner right here. This is uh, Palladio. It's in the shade. I don't know what shade. It looks burgundy. But um, I'm going to use this. Okay. Got that on. I'm gonna put the applied lipstick now. So I'm going to set my face. And it's going to be with the Urban Decay D-Slick um, setting spray. It's supposed to cut down on and shine. Okay. It's got like everywhere. Didn't spray out too good. Let's see. How can I correct that? my look so I'm going to uh, take my hair down So yeah, this completes my look. Thank you for thank you for watching my channel. Again, my name is Light Brown, and you can follow me on Instagram as Cooking Up a Look, and Face Facebook as Cooking Up a Look. You can check out those two sites. I will be posting pictures on those two sites. And yes, thank you again for um, watching my channel, and you have a great day.